Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We continue with chapter 12, Magnetism. As you know, magnetism or magnets are very useful in our daily life. For example, magnets um, used in meters, motors, and loudspeaker. Alright, magnetism is linked to electricity. Okay, magnetic fields affect moving charge and moving charge produce magnetic fields. Changing magnetic fields can even create electric fields. So in this topic, we will explore magnetism and its relation to the electric current. Okay, uh, this is uh, the chapter outline that you will cover in this topic. There are seven uh, subtopic for this chapter. All right. You have all probably played with some type of magnet in your life. For example, a uh, house show magnet like shown here that can pick up iron containing object like paper clips uh, or, or nails. Alright. Uh, for our discussion, we will be focusing on a bar shaped magnet. Okay, this is a bar shaped magnet. Okay, iron object is a strongly attracted to either end of a bar magnet. The ends are, co uh, are called its poles. One end is called the north pole, and the other uh, is south pole. Okay, this is uh, north pole, and this is south pole. Okay. Uh, magnetic pole, magnetic pole exert attractive or repulsive force on each other, which is similar to the electric force between charge object. Okay, for example, charge charge object, a positive and positive, a positive positive, um, repel, uh, repel but negative and positive. Uh, all right, uh, pole, uh, uh, a charge, uh, attract each each other okay it's same with magnet okay like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other so no matter how many times a permanent magnet is cut each pieces each piece always has a north pole and south pole okay okay the direction of magnetic field or we call uh as B at any location is the direction in which the north pole on a compass needle point at that location. Okay, like here. Okay, north pole, so north pole, so is the uh, needle point. Okay, the figure on the left shown how the magnetic field of a bar magnet um, bar magnet can be traced with the aid of a compass, defining a uh, a magnetic defining a magnetic field line so ini dipanggil sebagai magnetic field line so magnetic field lines uh, dia akan bergerak from north to south pole okay all right okay we can see the patterns produced by magnetic field by placing small iron Okay, here, okay, the left hand, okay, this is the left hand is a single bar magnet. The middle figure is two bar magnets with unlike pole, this is north pole and this is south pole. And the right hand figure show the interaction of like poles, north with north or south with south, okay. Okay, so you can see the pattern between a uh, single uh, single uh, magnet uh, two magnet with uh, unlike pole and two magnet with uh, same pole okay all right before before this we say a bar magnet has north and south uh, south pole right but it's more accurate to say it has a north seeking pole right and south um, a seeking pole. Okay. In other words, if a bar magnet is used a compass, one one end will seek or point to the geographic north pole of Earth, and the other will seek or point to the geographic south pole of Earth. From this, all right, we can conclude that the geographic north pole of Earth corresponds to magnetic south 
pole and the geographic south pole of Earth correspond to a, to a magnetic north pole. Okay, all right. Okay, here. The source of Earth's magnetic field can consist a large masses of permanently magnetized uh, material. Earth uh, does have large deposit of iron uh, or deep beneath its surface, but its high temperature in the core, okay, high temperature in the core prevent the iron from retaining any permanent magnetization. Right. It's more likely that the true source of magnetic um, magnetic field is uh, electric current in the liquid part of its core. Okay, go here. The current, which is not well understood, may be driven by an uh, interaction between the planet's rotation and convection in the law in the hot uh, liquid core. Okay. There is some evidence that the strength of planet magnetic field is related to the planet's rate of rotation. For example, uh, Jupiter rotates faster than, than Earth. And recent space probes mm, indicate that Jupiter's magnetic field is strong than Earth's even though Jupiter lag on ion core. Okay. Um, the direction of Earth's magnetic field, okay, direction of Earth's magnetic field reverses every few million years. The evidence for this phenomenon is from an ionic content rock, uh, okay, that is sometimes uh, stripped forth of volca volcanic activity on the ocean, ocean floor. Okay. Next, magnetic uh, magnetic field line. Okay, here are the characteristic of magnetic fields, magnetic field lines for a bar magnet. Okay, um, a the lines do not intersect one another. B the line from a closed loop from north pole to the south pole. B the lines are closer together at the poles. And D Two sets a uh, magnetic field lines can be superimposed to form a resultant magnetic field lines. All right. Um, we go to we go to the calculation. Okay. In our discussion of electricity, the electric field at some point in space was defined as the electric force per unit charge. Okay, acting on the a test charge place at at the point. Okay, in a similar way, we can describe the properties of magnetic field B at some point in terms of magnetic force exerted on a test charge at at the point. Okay, our test object is charge Q, right? Moving with velocity v. Okay. It is found experimentally that the strength of the magnetic force, okay, the strength of magnetic force on the particle is proportional to the magnitude of the charge Q, the magnitude of, um, of velocity, the strength of external magnetic field B, okay. Right. And the sign of angle theta between the direction of V and direction B. In simple word, uh, the magnetic field can be defined in terms of magnetic force exerted on a task moving charge in the field with velocity. So this is uh, the equation for... Uh, for the force of moving charge in uh, in um, electric in magnetic field okay okay f equal to q v b sine theta similar with the electric field okay okay magnetic force a vector quantity so if a vector quantity it's half uh, it must have magnetic and direction. Okay. Okay. 
uh, if one column charge move in a direction perpendicular to the magnetic field of magnet one tesla okay okay the 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 uh, the unit for magnetic field is Tesla, okay? Uh, Alright. Uh, I repeat again. Okay, If a one charge move in a direction perpendicular to a magnetic field of magnitude, uh, magnitude 1 Tesla with a speed 1 meter per second, the magnetic force exerted on the charge is 1 Newton. Okay? So, we can express the unit of B as shown here. Okay? The equation for find the magnetic field is here be equal to F over QV sine sine theta. Okay. From the equation for the force on a moving charge particle in a magnetic field, you can see that the force has its maximum value when the particle motion is perpendicular to the magnetic field or corresponding to theta equal to 90 degree. So, uh, when the theta uh, 90 degree, so that sin theta equal to 1. Okay, sin theta is equal to 1. The method of the maximum force has the value shown here. Okay, here. Okay, here. Okay, for F maximum equal to Q, V, VB. You can also that uh, F is 0. Okay, F is 0 when V is parallel to the B. Okay, or the theta equal to 0 degree or 180 degree. So, no magnetic force is exerted on a charged particle when it's moved in the direction of magnetic field or opposite the opposite the field. Yeah. Okay. Um okay. Um experiments show that the direction of magnetic uh, force is always perpendicular, okay? okay? It's always perpendicular to the both V and and B for a positive charge particle, okay? As shown here in the left middle figure, uh, in the left, uh, in the left and middle figure, okay? As you can see, okay, the force, okay, the force is always perpendicular with B and and V. So to determine the direction of force, we can employ, uh, we can uh, use right hand rule. Number one, okay. What is right hand rule number one? Okay. Uh, first, okay. The rule for right hand rule number one: point the finger of your right hand in direction. Okay. So, mah boleh try, right? Okay. Please try. Okay. Use your right hand. Okay. Point the finger on your right hand in the direction of velocity means the direction of velocity uh, where the charge where the charge moving okay where the charge moving okay to uh, curl the fingers in the direction of magnetic field okay okay mula-mula panjangkan tangan okay panjangkan panjangkan jari yang jari yang ini panjangkan ke depan lepas itu okay jari ini alright uh, empat jari ini menunjukkan velo, velocity, okay, arahkan kepada velocity of the charge. After that, uh, you uh, curl, apa maksudnya? Kamu gulungkan, okay, kamu gulungkan, uh, kamu punya empat jari ini untuk menunjukkan, okay, direction of magnetic field, moving through the smallest angle, okay, they moving pada smallest angle, ah, right? Okay, and your thumb, okay, kamu punya ibu jari ini is now pointing in the direction of magnetic force, okay, exerted on a positive charge. So, right hand rule, number one is uh, digunakan pada positive, positive charge. For, uh, kamu punya thumb ini adalah for menunjukkan arah direction for force. Apabila kamu buka jari kamu, jari